ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the workshop. So, <laughs> dubious engineering on YouTube. This is an Apple power supply, a mag lock or mag safe power supply. And what tends to happen is the cables tend to break and all that kind of good stuff. So this video here then is just sort of quickly to show you how to get inside here and how to replace the cables. Now these cables can be purchased on eBay or Amazon um, and ultimately they're lovely little maglock cables, magsafe I think perhaps they're called, and they just sort of clip onto your MacBook and charge everything up. So what have we got to do to get in here? Well I have a, what's called a spudger. It's a bit of um, high carbon or high tensile sprung steel. Normally you'd use it for cracking iPad cases and that kind of stuff. But basically if you get in here and you just run down the sides and then put a little bit of stress on those sides by putting a bit of a rotational force in here. Oop, there we go. You can hear things start to just start to crack open ever so slightly. Um, and you've got to do that all the way around the device. So once you've got things sort of open, what you can then do, pop the lid on this, and these are a pair of inverse pliers. So rather than squeezing things when you close the handles, they open things when you close the handles. And you can pop that in here and here, and just use that to very carefully lever these sides open. There we go. And then I would suggest we get in there by hand and just very carefully give that a little bit of persuasion. Maybe even consider getting the spudger. Oops, come on, there we go. And eventually she will give way. Um, and it's just plastic that's been very carefully glued together, so no biggie. Now, clearly, you don't want to be doing this when the mains cable is plugged in, and you don't want to be doing it when it's plugged into your laptop, so make sure you're not doing that kind of stuff. In fact, this guy here uh, looks a bit like a generic copy as opposed to an original. Um, just because it doesn't have the Apple symbol on the side of it. The originals tend to have the Apple symbol on the side of them. So um, I wonder if this is a bit of a copy, because the other thing that I've noticed when getting in here is the, um, the, the shielding here is quite different. As you can see, we've got an aluminium shield with a little bit of heat resistant tape over the top of it, whereas here we've got copper shields. So uh, anyway, um, let's get in here and let's change out that cable. So in this case, in order to gain access, we need to cut this tape here very carefully, just pop a little slit in it there, and then we will go ahead and peel that tape away so that we can remove this from its enclosure. Right, now we've got access to the back of that, we can see where those connections are. So it's time to get your replacement cable and uh, then what we can do is we can go ahead and solder that replacement cable into the circuit board. This shouldn't take too long at all. Just pop that away, there we go, all out of the way. Look at that in there, that's really quite interesting. So basically it's just a switch mode power supply. Oh, by the way, big thank you to Pete for sending these in. Um, so as uh, so a switch mode power supply, a little toroidal transformer in here, a couple of um, suppression capacitors, and uh, then another transformer here, and what looks like maybe a couple of MOSFETs sitting on here, and some smoothing capacitors. Let's just make a note of where things go. So black goes closer to the center of the PCB and white stays on the outside here. Now we've zoomed in, we can see then that white stays towards the outside of the PCB and black is closer to the center. So let's just go ahead and pop these little guys off. 
this shouldn't take long at all there you go that's one done and the other guy bonk all right so there we go that's the old cable that's clearly broken this is the new replacement cable so uh, black was towards the center of the PCB so we're gonna pop black through this little hole here and can you still see what I'm doing yes good all right so there we go whoops we'll pop a little bit of fresh solder on that in just a second and then this guy is the white which goes towards the outside of the PCB and we'll go ahead and we'll put some real leaded solder on that guy and one two there we go and you get a little refill as well there we go smashing nice shiny joints there all looking quite magnificent good so now we just reassemble things and basically it goes back pretty much in the same order that it came apart you'll see there's a little cut out in the PCB that aligns the PCB perfectly there we go just like that uh, and then we've got this piece of plastic that folds over the top and then we've got this lump of aluminum aluminium <laughs> which is the wrong way up there we go that's better and uh, we've got a little bit of tape that we can use to hold that aluminium in place in fact i'm going to go ahead and put a little bit more tape on that in just a few seconds this little connector here let's just zoom you in on that so um, as you can see there's some little slots in here and also some slots here and so what you've got to do is you've got to try and get this little tab centralized uh, just like that there we go and you can see and feel that that's nicely in place and it doesn't rotate once you've got that in place you can then start to think about closing this up now um, a couple of things that you're going to want to do you're going to want to make sure that you put your little spring tabs back in place so that you've got your cable restraint uh, set up and these are really quite easy to fit they literally just go in like that there we go and then what you need to do is take your little tabs here put them in on the top just like so whoops you need, you need to be a bit of an octopus to be able to do this five hands to get everything to uh, to go back together so carefully using a knife you can make sure that that little spring there sits in the right place and the protection tab sits in the right place once you've got those set up then what you can do is you can just pop in that tab there and there we go that's one in place and we've got to do the same to the other side now and once you get the knack to it it really isn't that difficult it's just a case of popping that in place and then just popping the spring down in place there we go and just getting that guy in there as well just enough room to make all of that happen and there she is nice and solid and then what we should probably do is just pop a little bit of cyanoacrylate around the outside of the shell to make sure that it holds together nice and firm Loctite super glue cyanoacrylate basically and um, we're just going to pick up a little bit of that uh, super glue on the end of a cocktail stick here and then what we will do is just put that put a little dab of that a little run of that around here so here is a genuine apple uh, that hasn't been played with um, I've I'm happy to rip off that tin foil as I have a large reel of self-adhesive tin foil which I can replace with. Uh, in fact, what I'll do is I'll also add a little bit of that to the screen there. I'm also going to chop off those little earthing tabs there and leave a little bit of lead on them if you can because you're going to want to go ahead and uh, solder to it again a little bit later to give it that RF shielding that it needs. And then if you just go ahead and peel back 
that 3M tape. You can then open up this plastic bit of insulation here, exposing the PCB. Yeah, so for these guys, once you've uh, got them closed back up again, if you have the luxury of having, <laughs> if you have the luxury of having some silver tape, you could go ahead and put a little silver heat resistant tape around them. Okay, so I've finally found the easiest way to reassemble these guys is to pop these little spring clips in place here and then just make sure those springs are in place then pop this guy in place here whoops might have a tendency to pop out keep an eye on that um, and once you've got all of those guys in place you can then there we go just run a little bit of super glue a little bit of cyanoacrylate around uh, around the outside and just literally just touch it around here uh, and around the casing here and here you'll see where that casing lines up with the grooves in the body and then you just very carefully align the top and slide it on and assuming you just give those guys a little bit of a gentle coaxing and boom there we go all back together and once that's all done I just pop it in a little clamp and hold it together for a little while make sure that the glue goes off all right so we're uh, we're almost there just uh, need to give these guys a little bit of a cleanup I always find that um, if you've got uh, nasty marks or scratches and that kind of stuff on the outside then a uh, little bit of brasso generally tends to work with plastic quite well in order to make things beautiful again this is the stuff right here and there it is ladies and gents one two three fantastic apple magsafe power supplies all with fresh new cables on them please give us a good old thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already there'll be plenty more of this kind of madness and we'll see you in the next video cheers and beers people take care bye for now